Hello, my name is Mr. 23 and today I'm going to teach you how to create a mix between a mountain and a cave and you can use what you learned today to participate in a Photoshop contest. Welcome back to the second episode of the Do It Better Photoshop contest. The purpose of this contest is to use what I'm creating in this tutorial and then you should move on with your own ideas and your own photos. So first of all, we need to create a new document for that. You go to file new and for this time i'm going to use uh, those uh, width and height and the resolution uh, 150 you can lower the resolution if you want so 3200 by 4000 first of all we need to drag this photo hold it and drag it into the document right click on the layer and choose convert to a smart object then press ctrl t let's shrink it drag the top to the bottom something like that you can uh, make it smaller if you prefer but uh, for the moment let's keep it like that then i'm going to cut the middle part for now i'm going to take the pen tool so press the letter p and i'm going to uh, start from the top from uh, this part So this shape you can uh, modify it if you want, I just uh, wanted to cut it like that so you can uh, cut another shape if you prefer but uh, at this time I'm going to keep it like that. Then after you finish with the pen tool and with the path created by the pen tool press ctrl and enter and then hold alt and click on the mask. I should have started this with a background just to have it like a guideline so because I forgot to do it let's do it now so go and click on the background and then uh, choose a gradient from the adjustment layers and here let's change the color so the first from the left let's uh, put it uh, like a dark uh, blue and the one from the top let's uh, choose like an orange uh, color something like that and then hit ok so now we uh, managed to uh, cut the bottom part and let's take care of the top part A while ago I got this screen bar plus monitor light from BenQ and imagine that I wanted this so bad but nobody would sell it in my country. So when I received this unit from BenQ to review it I was really happy because now I got something that can protect my eyes when I work during the night after my kids are asleep. I used to have all my lights open in my room but that was really annoying and with just my monitor light it hurt my eyes after a few hours. Now let me tell you my personal impression about the screen plus monitor light. First of all I cannot work without it. I mean I use it during the day also but during the night is just perfect it protects my eyes it doesn't have any glare it looks awesome and it consumes only 5 watts it just has a usb cable that's plugged in in my monitor and a desktop dial that is just brilliant you can change the intensity the color temperature or you can use the auto dimming if you want if you have any question about this product please let me know in the comments i would be really happy to tell you more about my personal experience with it check out the links in my video description if you want to acquire this product is just 129 dollars at the moment it's just brilliant and it's a must-have gadget if you work during the night like me and you want to protect your eyes in a long term. So we have this picture, let's drag it on into uh, our document and we place it on top. Again, right click and convert it to a smart object. Press Ctrl T, shrink it a bit and double click. Now on your keyboard press the number 5 for example and now uh, the opacity is set to 50%. So we can drag this to see uh, where we can match it to look better with the bottom picture. Then it's 0 on your keyboard and now let's uh, take care of the top part. So uh, here on the object selection tool take the magic wand tool, click once on the top and then hold alt and click on the mask and it will cut that area. Of course if you zoom in you'll see this uh, bluish uh, stroke that we don't want and for that go to filter and choose other and then minimum and here you can choose two for example or even four and hit ok. So because we already created a mask we are going to use this mask so click on the mask again and uh, choose the soft brush and be sure that the black color is selected 
So now we are going to paint on the, on the bottom part with the black color. So now we are going to zoom in and just click, do not hold that much, so that uh, you click around, right? So you need to be careful with this part because this is really important, so you can have a good transition be between the bottom part and the top part. We need to mix the colors and the lights of the bottom part and uh, the top part. If you go too far like I did here, you see? you reveal uh, the too much from the cave part and you need to switch with the white color and paint back uh, this area so you don't have any parts left from the cave. Then let's uh, go on the cave layer, so this one, press on the adjustment layers and choose levels. Hold Alt and click between the layers, so these levels should affect only the cave uh, layer and now let's uh, make it uh, a bit uh, brighter something like that all right and then go to the top one hit uh, the adjustment layers and this time choose brightness and contrast hold alt again and click between the layers now we are going to decrease the brightness on the top one and increase the contrast all right something like that i think it works and now because we did that you'll see we'll see that at least in my design i use the mask too much so we need to go again on this top layer and with the brush tool select and, and the white color we need to paint again here on the intersection of uh, those two layers so we don't have any parts left. Now that we did that we need to select both layers so uh, go on the first layer or the cave and hold shift and select everything that you have so far and then click on this group icon and then press again the adjustment layers and this time choose selective color. Choose the blending mode to color. Then hold Alt again and click between the layers and now if we are going to modify the colors so we need to go to and check the neutrals and we need to play a bit with the colors of the cave and the rocks and this is really random you can choose different colors if you want here I'm just showing you how to blend better your images and then you can modify it according to your design. So for me I think those settings work uh, really well and now uh, let's add another brightness and contrast click on this little icon to include it into the group and now you can play around with the brightness and the contrast if you want and uh, this helps us to equalize the brightness and contrast on both of them so basically this is the setup that you need to have for this contest now you can create anything that you want with it so the purpose of the contest is to create two worlds one on top so you can have something here on top uh, anything that you can imagine and here on the bottom you should create something else uh, it can be related or it cannot be related it's just up to you I had this idea a few months ago with the two worlds and because I went through a small depression at that time I was really influenced in creating this design I got this quote from Laurel K Hamilton that explains better what I felt at that time there are wounds that never show on the body that are deeper and more harmful than anything that bleeds so I had to find my way back to my inner child and that helped me to move on and today I feel much better and every day I try to help others to improve and to reveal their true talent either that is dancing or photoshop. Okay so back to our contest this is just an example of what you can do with it of course the possibilities are countless so I really hope that you will join this contest I am so so curious to see your ideas. So as I said in the beginning of this video the rules are really simple you must use uh, what I created in this tutorial so uh, the top part and the bottom part with the cave and the rocks that should be the common thing in all the designs and then you can move on with your own ideas then after you finish send me that design on my email mr23designer at gmail.com and also if you post your work and I want you to post your work on Instagram so I can see it and others can see it please use the tag mr23worlds so that's all about this contest, I hope that you like my new idea with the two worlds and I cannot wait to see your designs. If last week Walid was the featured artist uh, with his work, I just found out that uh, that's not his work. So I must apologize to the original artist who is Jozo's art. Seems that Mr. Walid stole it, cropped it and posted it as his own work and I promoted it. I'm so sorry for that, 
I will be more careful next time but please don't assume others artists work that's not the way we all inspire from somewhere but we change a lot of things according to our own imagination so this week featured artist is in Phoenix creations so uh, this uh, design it's uh, really nice uh, it has a lot of uh, details and a lot of hidden details so he says that uh, Thanos is in this design so uh, please take a look at his page especially at this design and uh, try to find Thanos so congrats in Phoenix Creations for this design, you are the featured artist for this week. So if you want your work to be featured in my videos, please use the tag Mr23Review anytime you post your original art on Instagram. So thank you so much for watching this and also if you'll join the contest and see you next time.